The secrecy about queerness at Mount Union has birthed discomfort for everyone involved, so that even in the classroom, I lacked a person in my corner where I expected my professors to be. They either disregarded pronouns themselves or disregarded the obvious eye-rolling and giggling in response to being asked for them. As potentially the only queer person in that class, I got to either lie about myself, the person I fought so hard to learn and love to feel safe in my skin, or swallow my safety and choose me. The choice was never easy, and I rarely made the same one twice in a row on the first day of classes. When I introduce myself honestly in a class and people hear that I am, again, not what they expect, my eye contact privileges are revoked. My soft smiles and head nods are rescinded. I am situated back in a place of ostracization. A very similar sentiment was expressed by Lex Smith when they explained that. Yeah, um, I definitely think that we have a long way to go. And I think a lot of that kind of does stem from the classroom environment that we have on campus and just like the general organizational atmosphere. The professor doesn't feel comfortable asking for pronouns or um, the professors might not, you know, use the right pronouns for students who are vocal about their pronouns, mm -hmm. which I'm not very good at advocating for myself on that front. Mm -hmm. So that's not really something I ever hold people at fault for. Mm -hmm. But I do feel like there's just not a lot of accountability um, on campus for respecting people's identities and making sure that you're referring to them in the mm -hmm. way that validates them and uplifts them instead of referring them to referring to them in a way that's easy mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of commonplace. And no one, at least not me, is saying that professors have to be perfect or flawless or honestly even really get it. You can mess up, but you can also correct yourself and try again. Because acknowledging my pronouns goes so much deeper than just language. And I'm not really interested in policing yours. When you call me by my correct pronouns, correct yourself from a mistake, ask genuine questions for clarification, or just show up for me in your classroom as a mediator from those that we know never will, you are saying so much more than just they. You are saying that you see me, respect me, and want me to be safe from ridicule. I want you to get it to the extent that you see me as more than just a student or a triple major or a 4.0, because I am. I am a queer person that needs you to simply try, and probably fail. Dr. Gwen Gray Schwartz expresses what this looks like in her classroom when she explains that, I don't do anything in class like, everybody go around the room and say your pronouns. Mm -hmm. God, that doesn't feel natural to me as a way of getting to know people. Mm -hmm. um, and some people aren't comfortable when they don't know people already yeah. in identifying. Yeah. So I let it come out in the writing mostly yeah. and in discussions. I try to use the pronouns that are listed for people in my classes and I fail. I really do. I will, you know, be, we'll be in a class discussion and I'll call on someone and then I'll say, well, you know, what so-and-so thought, you know, she was really good at when I shouldn't have been using the word she. And it just mm -hmm. comes out. Mm -hmm. And I'm not being malicious. It just isn't internalized all the time yet. I'm a person that is dynamic and living and learning and trying too. And you don't have to wake up every morning and question your gender identity to recognize and support that. You may have to show up for me in more or different ways than you do other students and I'm not saying special treatment, I'm just saying please. When professors don't and let fear, awkwardness, or lack of education keep them from protecting their diverse students, our safety is compromised. In a space of higher education, it is not just the responsibility of students to be continuously learning about the world around them. Our classrooms should be a place for growth on either side of the desk.